the last stand. Tanya set about destroying. Once upon a time, long, long ago in the hell, well, you know the rest, the absolute evil had, in the fabulous predecessor to this game, taken over the entire overworld with its creatures. Now it spent its time on debauched parties and... Wait a minute. The entire overworld? No! One small village of indomitable heroes still held out against the invaders. The unamused evil was beside itself with rage. But all this was about to change once and for all, because the remote control evil sent its most vicious general into the field. The Dark Elf Talia. Talia, also known from the fabulous predecessor, came back from her vacation in a thoroughly good mood. Before that, she had defeated her foster father, the paladin Thanos. This fact is important to note. For this last remaining village of heroes was protected by none other than Tristan, foster son of Thanos and Talia's stepbrother. This proud warrior in shining, his handsome heroic chest, accentuating armor, was the last glimmer of hope for the forces of good. Talia, who had fully embraced the dark side, couldn't wait to really kick her stepbrother's ass. And so our story begins. The last defenders of good were fighting for their survival. This seemed to be the perfect time for Tristan to make his appearance, the last mighty hero of the good races. My brothers, in your eyes I see the same fear that would lead me to despair. The day may come when the courage of true heroes is extinguished, when we abandon our companions and all bonds of friendship are broken. But that day is still far off. Stand fast, heroes of the West! And with those familiar sounding words, Tristan charged into battle to the cheers of his men. The heroes of good had managed to capture some of the evil creatures. Nevertheless, it was more than questionable whether a few minor victories and a brilliant speech could do anything against the absolute evil's armies. A storm of darkness and gloom descended, heralding the arrival of Talia, the absolute evil's general. This entrance not only panicked the defenders of good, but also seemed to strengthen the creatures of evil. Hey, I'm back! Time to kick a little hero butt. Forward, creatures! Show me what you can do! Punch them smack dab in the mouth! Smash them in the face! Oh, and just as a precaution, get me my handbook of worn-out third-rate catchphrases! Ha <laughs> ha! If my eyes don't deceive me, that's my stupid stepbrother Tristan over there, too. Just waiting for me to lovingly put his head on a spear. Ha! Today is gonna be a good day. Talia seemed to be very sure of victory. Some might find this puzzling, as it was the beginning of a long new campaign. But okay, maybe the rest of the missions are nothing but a string of debauched victory celebrations. Who knows?
Talia's mighty storm once again stood at her disposal. A few pitiful opponents. I'm gonna massacre you. Um, if I can just remember how that works again. Fortunately, Talia's instincts took over at this point. Something which wannabe pro gamers often refer to as auto attack. Talia also remembered that she had a few skills that she could invoke whenever she felt like it. Oh, right. Boom. That's how it's done. <laughs> Hey, um, did someone actually cage my subordinates? Ah, forget that. I'm the only one who's allowed to do that. Time to bust these things open, pulverize them, nuke them. <laughs> A cage was destroyed and creatures were freed.
Natalia had freed all the creatures. Not to be outdone by her stepbrother, she too gave a brilliant speech. Speech? Uh, sure. Creatures! Time to punch the do-gooders right in the kisser! Forward! Punch them in the face, kick them in the shins, break their belt buckles so they trip on their pants. <laughs> hmm, yes. Very inspiring. Natalia had reached the center of battle. With another brilliant speech, she goaded her creatures on one more time. Another speech? Oh. <laughs> Ding dong, the hero's dead. That okay? Honestly, I don't know if I can work with you like this. <clears throat> uh, <clears throat> After Talia's words, the creatures surged forward and flocked to their linguistically under-talented leader. Or would like to, but the defenses on the left and right flanks made progress impossible. Tanya had to destroy them in order to receive further support. The hero's defense collapsed on the right flank. The monstrous evil's creatures flocked to Talia. Excellent. I can always use more cannon fodder. I, I mean, um, loyal subordinates. <laughs> The hero's left defensive flank could no longer withstand the breaching evil's creatures. has just decreased in size due to death. Talia, stepsister, you dare to show your face here after killing our foster father. Uh, yeah, is that a trick question? You can see I'm here. Thanos deserved what he got, and I thought to myself, hmm, hey, like father, like son. You will pay for your deeds, sister. The light will protect me. Turn from evil and come back to the side of good. See the power of light. With these words, Tristan was bathed in a golden light that seemed to protect him. As if that were not troublesome enough, a number of magical portals opened at the same time. Huh. As if this wasn't dragging on way too long already. Can't we just jump straight to the point where I greedily take over the world? Forward, creatures! Smash the portals! Flatten that magic junk! Pull the plug! My brothers! In your eyes, I see the same fear that would lead me to despair. 
The day may come when the courage of true heroes is extinguished. When we abandon our companions and all bonds of friendship are broken. But that day is still far off. Stand fast, heroes of the West! Oh, didn't you spout that same bullshit earlier? In exactly the same words. No, not at all. I am known for my brilliant speeches, wicked stepsister. I seem to remember that whenever you were supposed to speak in front of the class, we had to get a mop. You'll pay for that. Onward, faithful! Destroy the evil! All the magical portals have been destroyed, and with them, Tristan's shield went up in smoke. <laughs> That's the way I like it. Now, where were we? Oh, yeah. I was just about to kick my stepbrother's butt. Sister, it doesn't have to end this way. Join me. Together we can still save the world. Oh, can't you just die and spare us all the embarrassing melodrama? Talia, this isn't the end. We'll meet again. With these words, Tristan quickly created a portal and threw himself through it with the last of his strength. The portal closed again behind him. Treachery, fraud, cheater! This was supposed to be my victory! And what the hell kind of glove is that anyway? Looks to me like game design forgot to balance the thing properly. Maybe the people in charge were still too captivated by your great speech. It brought tears to my eyes too. However, not of emotion. <laughs> As if the bird brains these evil creatures have needed grand speeches. A few skulls to bash in, and the social calendar for the evening is filled. Well, each to their own. <clears throat> but apparently, Tristan had suffered a mishap, as the aforementioned magic glove still lay in the place where it was last used. It would seem that he had accidentally lost it. <laughs> Wonderful. This thing is just what I need. Tray chic. I'll, um, just grab that right away. And so our story begins. Tristan had managed to give Tanya the slip, but she had been able to capture his magic glove. The Gauntlet of Finichu, a fabled artifact. Unfortunately, UI overlays don't work in cutscenes, so Tanya couldn't read just exactly what the glove did. Nevertheless, she proudly presented it to the absolute evil in its form as the Dark. And so misfortune took its course, because at the same time, Talia wanted to demonstrate how loudly she could snap her fingers. But this snap, which would go down in the history books as the Dungeon Lord snap, unleashed horrific forces that were discharged into the Dungeon Lord himself. As Talia rose to her feet, the gauntlet had disappeared and the Dungeon Lord lay dying. Viewers often began to cry at this point because it made them think back to the last really good superhero movie. 
Talia mourned for about five seconds. Talia had shattered the realms of good and served them onto the absolute evil on a silver platter, while it had actually done nothing at all. So Talia now became the absolute ruler. She had no clue about how to rule, but more than made up for it with hubris and consistently ignoring glaring problems. In addition, she surrounded herself with a staff of incompetent advisors. What could possibly go wrong? Ten minutes later, Tristan had captured Talia, locked her in a cage, and put the armies of absolute evil to flight. And so the story ends. We'll tell you how the story continues in overpriced microtransaction bites. Oh, wait, wait, wrong script. That's a different developer. Hang in there, I've almost got it. While Tanya was ignominiously taken away, the unused essence of absolute evil continued to float through the ether. It wasn't about to admit defeat that easily, but for evil to triumph once again, it needed Talia back, for better or for worse. And so the swirling essence of absolute evil set about commanding the perplexed-looking chaotic hordes and freeing Talia. Hammer Time, Round 2. The essence of absolute evil held the horde together and rose to the challenge of vicious dwarven engineering.